Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and this time I thought to myself I need to make one uh, on this little gun which you might have seen on my western nostalgia video and even in the gun game. Okay, so this is uh, the volcanic pistol and it has quite a nice history and is the reason for which we have the Henry rifle and the Winchester uh, rifle, so it's really cool. Okay, uh, on 1854, uh, it was uh, Horace Smith and Daniel B. Wesson which uh, patented and invented the mechanism that we have here for reloading. And this is exactly the same mechanism from those rifles. Okay. In 1855, they formed the company Smith & Wesson, where they produced this gun. Uh, unfortunately, due to low sales, they were unable to make a profit on this, mostly because uh, this was a very big gun, and very cool looking, I might say, but the ammunition was lackluster. So, in those times, uh, they needed help with some money to continue the production and investment on the technology which in which they believed on and uh, Oliver Winchester came aboard as an investor and fun fact back then Winchester was a shirt manufacturer a wealthy shirt fan manufacturer I might say so uh, yeah through this they pro they formed the company um, Volcanic Repeating Arms which we know of today so uh, yes, this basically is a replica uh, from the gun which was produced by Volcanic Repeating Arms in 1855. Then they continued to produce this model, among others, for several more years. Now let's go into details of how this game, uh, how this gun really works. So going into the details of this gun, I can say this has a 0.41 caliber and an 8 inch long barrel. It can store up to 7 rounds, 7 bullets, into the tubular barrel here. It has a tubular magazine and to reload it we need to draw back this spring like so and here like so, uh, rotate the top and then we can reload the gun through uh, the top of the barrel. Uh, the bullets go into the chamber, we rotate the top and then put the spring in tension again. Uh, what the spring does is uh, getting the bullets from the magazine chamber into the uh, gun chamber here and then to reload it we go like so and this reloading mechanism do, does two things. Uh, basically the first thing as you can see here it arms the gun and then the second thing, uh, basically it rises the bullet from the magazine chamber into the main chamber, the main barrel of the gun with this thing, like so. You see it, it rises uh, the bullet here and then the same iron here, it pushes the bullet into the barrel ready to be fired. And this is, this is it. I can say the main drawback of this reloading mechanism, besides the low power ammunition, is that you always have to have two hands on the barrel itself in order to reload it. Now another thing is that uh, even though these are quite big downsides, this uh, gun enabled the development of the Henry rifle and uh, the Henry rifle basically solves uh, both problems that this gun have. Uh, it uses higher power ammunition and as it is a rifle you always have two hands on the on the rifle itself. So both problems are resolved and this is why the Henry rifle is such a loved uh, weapon. But back onto this gun, let's find some other details. Now uh, it's cool that this game appears uh, in several games but in uh, at different levels so to say so we have it in my game that i played gun appearing as a medium weapon and it also appears in red dead redemption uh, then i believe it appears in the call of juarez first and the second game as the most powerful gun which is not really accurate but then i found that it appeared uh, in one board game 
uh, a western themed board game uh, called Bang, in which they had a card, a volcanic pistol card, uh, in which this was uh, the shortest range gun available in that card game. And another apparition uh, was in the FPS, the multiplayer FPS, Fistful of Frags, which this is one of the starter weapons. So the Volcanic Pistols was not really a success story, primarily due to the lackluster and low power ammunition that it had. So in uh, 1857, the Volcanic Arms Company went bankrupt and uh, from what I know, Oliver Winchester retained the ownership being the biggest investor. Uh, now uh, Winchester would continue the production and, um, and the research on this uh, pistol until uh, I believe 1860 when with the help of Benjamin Henry Tyler, uh, I believe that was his name, uh, he managed, managed to produce uh, the Henry rifle which was a success basically because this mechanism, the reloading mechanism was implemented into the Henry rifle and uh, the rifle used a bigger uh, ammunition which was the 0.44 rimfire cartridge so much much better and uh, Winchester would continue the development and later uh, release the Winchester rifle which is the most known uh, rifle to this date from the Western uh, period so uh, this is the history of this gun this is uh, why I like it so much because it's basically a symbol of the start of the Henry rifle and Winchester rifles which are the most known rifles within the West well uh, yeah it's a fun gun to play with I believe this concludes the video and I hope you liked the a little history around this pistol. It's a really fun pistol. So thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to like this video or uh, dislike it down below. Please uh, comment with your thoughts on uh, this pistol and uh, feel free to subscribe to see more videos from me. Thank you a lot. Have a great day. Bye.